And we'll just do a quick video of uh, the smaller items in this week's auction, which is uh, on the 25th. Stained glass panels there from Brynfynon Methodist Church in 1970. So, uh, again, it's a, a mixed bag, if you like, of uh, items. We've got antique and we've got new. But, uh, I'm sure there's something, something for everyone in there. Quite a few coins and that's in this one as well, which is quite nice. Some Port Marion. Nice pair there of uh, trench art vases, brass vases, which are quite nice. Is a, it's 1960s maybe, microscope in a case there. Some nice quality decanters in this one as well, glass decanters. The leak there, the leak vases. So, that's a Grand Derby. So next sale after this will be another couple of weeks again. Again, yeah, it'll probably be a mixed mixed options where we're sort of trying to do them now at the minute. Uh, mix it up a bit. Uh, this is absolutely fantastic quality. It's beautiful canteen of cutlery. Um, it's by Laidlaw of Glasgow. And 107 pieces in total. As far as I'm concerned, it's absolutely complete in every way. And a really nice mahogany cabinet as well. These are particularly nice as well. It's a beautiful antique uh, Welsh slate uh, sections there. The ideal set into a wall or an Inglewood fireplace or something like that. And those classic roundel motifs. A bit of Hornby. Nice as well, again, Welsh folk art. Really nice mix of items, including some Royal Albert Old Country Roses, as you'd expect. <coughs> so, a good mix of bits and bobs there for you on that table and then of course we've got a usual selection of uh, boxed lots as you can see so they're all a good mix of items in there I'll just come around here and show you a few bits in the front there nice fire screen which is quite nice and then this Lovely Georgian style uh, doll's house, which obviously opens up. And on the inside, we've got three floors, all packed with furniture and figures, etc. It's a real ready made piece for somebody there, which is quite nice. Shop rider. Lovely rug there as well, lovely carpet that. That's quite nice. We'll sort of move, move along really. There's uh, quite a few uh, brewery posters in, which are quite nice. It's for Stella, some gold label ones as well. It's a nice Nathan Jones signed print, which is quite nice. Liberty style uh, leather covered elephant. <coughs> Owen Maylier, original oil there. Just a little wool work sampler. Nice view, uh, Deborah Kempton sign print of Church in the Sea, Upper Frail. And another Deborah Kempton there of Penmon. Again, signed. Quite nice. A couple of little Philip Snows, originals those. Big Lowry print there. And, uh, some other, quite a few 
power tools and that kind of thing in as well. Action figures, which are quite collectible these days, aren't they? And some more teaware, etc. Cotton bits and bobs, really nice uh, antique magic lantern there, which is nice. That's there. Nice oil portrait. Victorian. And again, that's uh, Charles Hazelwood Shannon. Sign watercolour hunting scene there. Again, really nice. And then we've got some box lots, etc. again. Uh, scale electrics, bits and bobs, and other items to go on there. Into tools, etc. We've got a few uh, nice Honda petrol driven lawnmower, four wheel one. We've also got a nice extending ladder and genuine house clearance, a ride on mower. Again, really good. Drove it in off the furniture wagon the other day, so it's all good for you there. Nice ride on mower. Also got a good cement mixer and the stand with it as well, which is quite good. On the side tables then, again a mix of items, with some costume jewellery, some uh, stoneware etc, which is quite nice. A big crucifix there, some vintage cameras. And then uh, Lisa Fox, local uh, famous book illustrator, uh, also known as Fox and Boo is the company name. And signed a couple of ones by Lisa there. And again another Owen Maylier. And then this group of Ferraris watercolours, that one I particularly like, lots of sort of grotesque figures, etc. in that one. There's about four or five of those in total. So, like I say, a good mix of items in the small section, something for everyone. Um, I'll just give you a quick look at the jewellery, although there's not a huge amount of jewellery in, to be perfectly honest, a few it's a costume. But a good mix again, uh, silver frame there. So there's a few bits of silver. Uh, nice gems wristwatch. Some good cigarette card albums there, which are nice and complete. And then, as you can see, then we've got uh, the furniture section, which uh, we like the lovely arts and crafts uh, mirror back sideboard with. Copper bandings on, which is really nice. That one, and an air coal, it's a bit of air coal, and then this really nice deco period heels of London uh, dining suite. We've got the table and the sideboard there, and then the six chairs, uh, each piece individually stamped uh, by heels as well. It's quite nice. This is really lovely as well. I think top quality rosewood uh, fire screen. It's rather nice. A couple of pianos again. The only one that's been ready painted up for you, ready to go. And some nice antique corner cupboards. Good antique mahogany dining table there with chairs. We put the chairs in with that one. running along there, there's some modern pine and pine effect. Good set of eight of those, nice to see a set of eight, and nicely recovered, so ready for the home those. That's a little Chesterfield uh, wing back. Some more tools etc from earlier. Elsewhere then, mahogany bookcase, 
nice antique pine cupboard and some other bits there as well anyone want a futon well we've got one of those for you as well by the futon company no less those are quite interesting three antique timber lengths again for setting into a wall as a display um, and then this chest of drawers as well again which is lovely quality uh, lots of storage space in that in really nice condition some more stained glass so that's about it really the catalogues up on uh, easy live is just under 500 lots in total so something for everyone uh, any questions condition reports further images that you want just uh, give us a shout and we'll get those over to you